In this video, we're gonna talk about neurodiversity or neurodivergence. That's when a person thinks differently and yet they're married, they're in a relationship or they have children and it just takes a little bit different thinking for you or them to come up with an answer. So this is very esoteric, but I'm going to get a little bit more specific in this video. As always, you can reach out to me on my website. The website and everything else is in the description of this video. So you can have access to me, you can reach out to me, and you can schedule coaching sessions as you need it. What is neurodiversity? Well, by definition, it's a difference in brain wiring. So for example, ADHD, autism, dyspraxia, dyslexia, dyscalculia, dysgraphia, Tourette syndrome. These are all examples of neurodivergence. It's not a deficit, it's a difference. So these are all diagnoses and names of things that doctors will label you. But the truth is, all it means is that the only reason you get a diagnosis is so that you can get help from the medical community, but also it helps you to know that you think differently, that your brain works differently. And now you need to think about things in a different way in order to achieve the same goal as someone who is neurotypical. One of the things you can do is learn your strengths. Are you super organized? So use that. Make charts, schedule the household, organize closets. Use your strengths to benefit your family. But first, you have to know your strengths in order to be able to use them. So this could be with a therapist, with a coach, with journaling on your own. Figure out what is it you're really good at. As always, be patient with yourself because one tool is not gonna work every single time. Give yourself time to process when somebody asks you a question or asks you to do something or when you have to do something and it's on your schedule that you just organized so beautifully, don't jump to answer or don't jump to do the thing. Set back, take a deep breath, and think about the tasks that you need to do to accomplish the goal. Then you can answer the email, answer the person, and everybody knows it's good to pause before answering. You're not gonna look funny. You're not gonna look like you don't know what you're doing, what you're saying. You're gonna look like you're thinking, which is what smart people do. People who are not smart or are impulsive, act really quickly, answer really quickly, and then backtrack. I'm sometimes impulsive. And I've had people in my history say, why do you say no all the time and then afterwards you change your mind? Because I used to think that if I said no right away, I was safe. And I would say no, and then I would give it some thought and I would give a thought out answer. I learned over time to stop saying no first and instead say, give me a minute, let me just think about that. And then I process what they said and then I give the answer. And I don't have a diagnosis of any neurodiversity, but I still, it's normal to take time to think before you just jump out. Another idea is find a hobby or a personal outlet to nurture what you enjoy. Do you love horses? Do you love crafting? Do you love books? Do you love taking walks, riding bike? Do you like being physical, going to the gym, boxing? Find something that you're really good at, that gives you personal satisfaction. That way you get to nurture yourself in that way and build up your own self-confidence because you're good at some things. Ask for help when you need it. Smart people don't know everything. Smart people ask for help from the people who know certain things. Are you always late? Use your cell phone to schedule. Use a family member or a friend who can help you not be late. Do you freeze when you don't know something? Now, if you do that breathing technique, you're not gonna freeze because the freeze is part of that instinct, like, oh my God, I don't know the answer. What, a, what is this person gonna think about me? But if you take a deep breath and you say, okay, let me think about that question. 
and without judgment, you answer. Don't judge yourself. Some of us freeze before answering. Some of us are late to everything. But if that's something you wanna change, then you ask for the help that you need and you use the tools that are out there to be able to help you with those things. Don't over schedule your calendar. Okay, so I just told you, whoever you are that's organized to like make all the schedules, don't over schedule. You have to leave lots of downtime because being a neurodiverse parent or having a neurodiverse child can be exhausting and you need downtime. You need time where you're just spacing out and doing nothing or sitting outside in the backyard drinking a cup of tea or coffee. Allow that to yourself. Allow yourself to have downtime. It's good, it's healthy. And always make realistic goals. So if you're making your schedule and you're super organized and you're making these crazy goals all the time and then as soon as they achieve that goal, make a bigger goal, Make realistic goals for you and your family that you can meet for that day, for that week, for that month. Just be compassionate with yourself. Accept your limitations and accept your strengths. We're all different. And it's okay to take a day off. Stay home all day if that's what you need. Find someone who you trust to guide you and be your sounding board so that you're not always in your head thinking, is this the right thing? Is this the wrong thing? Just, you need a sounding board sometimes. A family member can help you, a coach can help you. So if you are neurodiverse and you have a family, incorporate that family to help you with your limitations. And as always, build up your strengths, build up your hobbies, really play that up so that you can have the self-confidence that you deserve to have as a human being. I really hope this video helps and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching. You can always check me out at coachred1.com for lots of blog posts and videos and other important information that you can use as a parent or in life. Please subscribe and click the notification button so that you never miss a video from Coach Red.